YouTube. It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. And it's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Today, we're going to be talking about XRP, a.k.a. Ripple. So, this is a cryptocurrency that is used for, you know, transactions, you know, exchange and hard to match up fiat currency, you know, and they say it can do about 1,500 transactions per second, while Bitcoin can only do 15 per second. Wow. I mean, that's wild, man. I mean, I mean, just looking at the supply, right? It sounds like Ripple is a fintech company. XRP is the coin. And they actually have this pre-stashed amount sitting somewhere. I think the supply is like 80 billion or something like that. Yeah. And as they sell the coin, um, it becomes in circulation where people can actually buy it and you could trade it and then do those 1500 transactions per second like you're talking about. Yeah. But the issue is, right, since XRP is owned by the fintech company Ripple, mm. they are considered what is an unregistered currency by the SEC, which allows them to be under SEC scrutiny. Mm. And SEC scrutiny saying that, you know, the SEC, you know, levied a lawsuit against them, you know, late last year, basically saying they made an unregistered sale of $1.3 billion worth of XRP, which caused Coinbase to take it off their platform, which caused the price to tumble. But... As we learned, like maybe a few months back, you know, it ran up again. But some people are trying to look for ways to get it. Before I tell you how to get it, I'm personally not endorsing it. Not that I think it's a terrible coin or I did they or I think they did anything illegal. I'm just not deep crypto like that. Um, Ethereum is what I have. I have Trash Bonfire and I have Dogecoin. That's as far as I go. But if you're interested in getting it, you can get it on Kraken, K-R-A-K-E-N. Some people believe you should buy it when the smoke clears. It's going to run up again like it did in the past. I personally don't know. The technology of it is cool. But again, you know, the supply is controlled by a company called Ripple, which makes it a little different than other cryptocurrency because it is not decentralized. Yeah, man. Uh, so back in November... Uh, it was trading around, I want to say like 36 cents, 40 cents, something like that. And I actually bought a few uh, XRP before Coinbase actually delisted it. Uh, made some, some money. I made about $1,000 on it. Didn't know what I was doing. It was really lucky. Um, actually ran up to 2 k mm -hmm. and then ran back down to one So I went ahead and I sold my position in XRP. But recently, I heard a lot of people made a lot of money off of it because it ran up to like $1.80. So... What do I know about XRP? Well, as of right now, it's the top 10 most popular crypto. So I would say if you want to diversify your portfolio in cryptocurrencies, you know, I'm not an expert in this field, but I would say definitely get some type of XRP, maybe 10 percent. Um, but with all the legal troubles that they have and Coinbase actually delisting, it kind of deters me from it. Like, it, I, I don't know if I want to mess with it, but. I say if you can, you can get in at a low price right now because it might run up. It might 2x. It might 3x. Yeah, they say the potential is there. Right now, at the time of this recording, it's about 69 cents a coin. Again, I'm not co-signing it. I'm not speaking badly on it either, so don't, don't flood me with hate comments. <laughs> it's just not personally for me. I'm more of a stock guy, more of a Palantir guy. You already know the vibes with that. But with that said, we're just introducing XRP to you. You know, a lot of people don't know how to get it since it's been delisted from Coinbase, but you can get it on Kraken. But again, this is not financial advice. And I'm not an expert. Thank you for watching. It's Young Equity Chris. It's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Can it, can it, can it, can it.